Hello everyone, I'm content creator and welcome to Ed <laughs> Oh man, I couldn't even get through that. Uh, I'm Bruffy1322. <laughs> I'm Bruffy1322 and uh, this is the first episode in the GTA discussion series. So this series is basically going to be where I can sort of kick back and relax a little bit and talk to you guys in a more discussion orientated way. So, you know, the, the, the fact finding series will be very you know robust and scientific as as much as possible to just give you guys the absolute facts and the basics for whatever you know topic i'm covering at the time but the discussion series will be more where i can go a little bit more in depth about the changes what they might mean for the game my opinions on them and it also gives me the chance to if i put up say a fact finding series talking about something you guys can give me your opinions on the comments and that will allow me to form my own opinions as well and, you know, change what I think or, you know, just generally have a bit more of a, a, a more well-rounded view about something. So that's what I basically plan for this series is just to have a bit more of a discussion about various things, updates to the game and just, you know, general things like that. But I will sort of, but near the end of this video, talk a lot more about my plans for uh, GTA 5 and GTA Online. I do have a lot of plans upcoming for different series and different kinds of things that I want to do a lot of them are very exciting so um, stay tuned for that that will be at the end of the video uh, but yeah for now I just I guess the first thing I should do is really welcome all of the new subscribers so since I did the the table upgrade being broken video a lot of other larger youtubers have covered that some very differently to others um, I'll leave all the links to all of the videos that have covered it in the description so you can kind of see how each of them goes about giving credit, I guess you could say, you know, some of them do it very differently to others. I think Shaggy was easily the best. He just um, put up a, a more of a reaction video, really, and just linked all of the stuff that he that, to my video in the comments. You know, that was that was kind of the pinnacle of what you should do if you want to give credit for a, um, somebody else making a video, just basically point them to it. Um, but yeah, that's why I was kind of joking with content creator at the start of this video and if you see one of the videos down there you'll understand why but yeah some of them they all did it to varying different degrees you know some did it better than others some really talked me up in a video left links in you know that were really easy to find some made it a little bit harder to find links you know it, it, it's just all of them to do it a little bit differently um but i'll leave all the links down there so you can check them out if you want to sort of see that for yourself if you like and compare them uh to see how they actually give credit but because of that, and I really do appreciate them actually even mentioning me in the first place, you know, because of that, I have had a lot of new subscribers, a lot for me anyway. Um, so I just wanted to say hello to all of you guys. I hope you continue to enjoy the content that I've got to put out. You know, I've got a lot of brand new ideas ready uh, for next gen GTA. And be sure to go and check out my old stuff as well. You know, I've done a lot of GTA videos over the past year, uh, specifically to do with racing, but other things as well. So feel free to go check it out. You know, look at my channel, look at the playlists and things like that. I'll link a, a list. Uh, I'll put a link to all my playlists in the description as well. So you can go and check out all my old stuff. But yeah, hello to everyone who's brand new. And also thank you to those who aren't new for sticking around as well for next gen. So I guess the best topic for the first video in this series is the first person view now i'm only going to sort of touch on it a little bit in this video and i want to mainly get your opinions on it as well um, because i do have a lot to talk about in this video but the, the first person view to me is the biggest change that we've seen in gta for a long time you know it, it's kind of on the level of going from 2d to 3d or having one character to three characters you know it, it's kind of on that level of change and for me, it's quite refreshing. I quite like it. Uh, the, it. It gives an entirely different perspective on the game. It gives an entirely different perspective on the world. Everything just seems so much bigger and so much more immersive. Uh, it, it, it completely changes the experience to me. It, it's not just a gimmick, you know. I mean, I guess some people might think it is, or, you know, some people might just not use it that much. But to me, if you actually do get into it and really, you know, you're walking around the streets of Los Santos in first person, it, it just feels so much more immersive. It feels like you are really there. And I do have some, you know, really interesting ideas for using first person. Uh, again, I'll come on to that at the end. But yeah, it, it's just it's just something completely different and something quite refreshing to the game. Some things are still better to do in third person if you want sort of absolute maximum performance out of something. 
but in terms of having fun with it, I think first person is probably the best way to go. So I want to know your opinions, you know, I, I just wanted to sort of touch on it a little bit in this video because I haven't really talked about it since Next Gen came out. So I wanted to touch on it, give you a little bit of, a, of my thoughts on it, but I want your opinions as well. I want to know what you guys think of first person. If you have the new version of games, let me know whether you use first person, whether you like using it, or whether you think it's just a bit of a gimmick. Let me know in the comments. And also, if you don't have the new version of games, is the first person sort of dragging you to buy the new versions, or are you not really that bothered by it? You know, I'm guessing you've seen videos. Obviously, you've seen this one, um, and obviously the, the footage in this video is just messing around a little bit. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think and. Do you really like first person or are you, are, are you not that bothered and you just continue using third person? So, to finish off this video, I want to talk about my future plans for GTA and future plans for my channel. Now, all of the stuff barring two series, um, all of the GTA stuff from old generation will stick to old generation. I'm not going to continue those series. Uh, that means that the GTA Online Commentary, the GTA Online Live, GTA Online Racing, um, obviously the fastest vehicles, the, the stock vehicles uh, that I've already covered. Um, those those series that are very much focused on old gen are going to stay on old gen. I'm not going to put up any different uh, videos. But instead I'm going to merge them in some ways and have some new series. So for example this, this series, the discussion series, is kind of taking over from the, the GTA Online Racing and the GTA Online Commentary series from old gen. It's kind of putting those two together where I can just have one place to have a bit more of a discussion. And I, I also want to, obviously the fact finding series is where I'm going to actually you know, be testing things and bringing you guys the most sort of information. Um, but I, I'm also planning to have sort of a, a live commentary racing series where it's just me talking my way through a race as I'm racing through it, you know, um, just as, as, as things happen I'll just do a commentary whilst I'm doing a race and then upload it whatever happens and also might get a few other people in who I'm racing with from the crew you know just do a few different things like that um, I want to have a series where I'm doing sort of random live shenanigans you know just uh, running around free roam getting up to no good you know that that would probably be maybe stream footage or things like that and I also do want to start streaming a little bit more regularly again you can follow me on twitch the links are all down in the description um, but yeah th those are the kind of plans I have for those kind of sort of base series um, but I also want to revamp the, co the content creator series so the old content creator series I'm going to leave where it is I'm not going to be adding to that um, I want to have a, a brand new content creator series where I, I go back over my uh, my tracks, reintroduce them to you on next gen because obviously they'll be much more but they'll be much more upgraded than what they were, um, and also do a, a content creator tutorial where I really get into the the thick of things when it comes to actually making very good races. Obviously, I have been verified by Rockstar. Um, I, I I'd like to think that I know how to make a good race. Um, so. I want to give you guys the sort of the basic tips on what to do and then a few more advanced techniques as well um, when it when it comes to circuit design and just generally using the content creator to the, its best abilities for making races. So that's that's something else that I've got planned. Um, and I also have one sort of special project as well that I'm not going to mention until pr I pretty much release it. I don't want to mention it to... Uh, anybody in fact because I really I really am excited about this sort of special project but it might be a while before you see a video for it but just be aware that there is something that go that's going to be coming that's going to be sort of completely different to anything that I've done before um, and I'm really really excited about that most of all. Um, the, the last thing that I'll be doing is also the, the second season of the multi-class endurance championship that will be again not for a while but I do intend to bring that back. Um, we'll be having 30 player races so you know we can we can either do two classes of 15 each or three classes of 10 um you know i'll be bringing that back and obviously streaming that again and putting up highlights videos there's a lot that i want to do for next gen gta i have a lot of plans i'm really excited at this moment in time because i'm just full of ideas of things to do and bring you guys sort of the best videos when it comes to f entertainment tips and discussion you know those are the three main aspects of my channel and I really do want to bring you guys the best videos that I can um, and I'm just really excited to do that so 
let me know down in the description obviously in, in the comments sorry obviously what you think about uh first of all me being mentioned by all these youtubers you know um the the first person view and also some of the ideas that i've mentioned here what what are you most looking forward to about the things that i've got planned and what would you like to see me do as well you know let me know down in the comments i'm, I'm always open to ideas but yeah i just wanted to sort of start off this first video of the discussion series just to give you guys a bit more of an update on on where my channel is and what's going to be happening in the future as i said this series will be about sort of talking about updates and giving you guys a bit more of information about updates to the game and changes that rockstar make and things like that and yeah i, I really do appreciate you watching all my videos it's absolutely amazing to me that i have so many subscribers um, that that want to watch my videos it's absolutely fantastic so i really really do appreciate that i really appreciate all your support and just watching my videos is just amazing so thanks a lot guys i really do appreciate it and i'll see you next time